What a great grandmother. Peter's grandmother is 71 and every day she does the same things at the same time. She always gets up at 7 o'clock. She always gets dressed at 8 o'clock. She always has breakfast, two pieces of bread, a banana and a cup of tea at 9 o'clock. She always listens to the radio at 10. She likes the men on the music program. She always has a cup of coffee at 11 and then she goes for a short walk before lunch. Down to the square, around the park and back home again. And she always has her lunch, fish, chips and peas at 12 o'clock. On Friday afternoons, Peter often goes to see his grandmother. Last week, he slept at her house on Friday night too. On Saturday morning, he got up at 7 o'clock and ran downstairs to talk to her. I've got an idea, Gran, Peter said. Let's have a crazy day. What do you mean? she asked. Well, you always do the same things at the same time every day. Yes? Well, today, let's have a different day. I'm hungry. Let's have our breakfast now. And let's have sausages, Peter said. But I never have sausages for breakfast, Peter, his grandmother answered. I always have bread and a banana for breakfast. But then she looked at Peter's face and said, Okay, those sausages were great. I like them a lot, Peter's grandmother said after breakfast. I enjoy them too, Peter said. Right, now let's get dressed. Then let's go for a walk. But I always listen to the radio first, his grandmother started to say. But then she stopped. All right, good idea. Where's my coat? Peter's grandmother enjoyed their walk, but when they got to the square, Peter said, let's catch a bus to Market Street. There's a really nice cafe next to the library in Market Street. We can look at the shops and then have our lunch there. But I never catch buses, Peter, and I never go to the shops in Market Street, and I never eat in cafes, Peter's grandmother said. But then she looked at Peter's face and said, OK, come on. Peter's grandmother enjoyed looking in all the shops and bought a really great watch and a nice purple and yellow sweater in one shop, a funny cupboard for her bathroom in another shop, and three exciting storybooks for Peter in a third shop. I'm having lots of fun, she said. What a great day! When they got to the cafe, Peter said, let's have pizza. But I never eat pizza, Peter's grandmother said. But then she smiled and said, all right, I can try one today. After lunch, Peter's grandmother said, I never eat cheese with tomatoes and mushrooms, but my pizza was great. I loved it. Good, Peter said. Now let's go home. I know you sometimes sleep in the afternoon and I'm tired, but I don't want to go home and I don't want to sleep this afternoon, Peter, his grandmother said. Let's go for a boat ride on the river, then buy a kite and fly it on the hill. We can buy some cakes and eat them in the park. Then we can go to the cinema. I never do any of those things, but I'd like to do them all today. Peter smiled. OK, Gran, he said, let's go. You know, you really are a great grandmother. And you really are a great grandson, Peter. She laughed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.